Hello and welcome to another bonus video from Cracking the Cryptic as we continue with two videos a day. Now, this puzzle came to us from Eric Fox, who, if you've been following on the Discord server for a month or more, um, Eric's been developing a tool which is usable for helping to set Sudokus and indeed helping to solve Sudokus, including some of the more common variants. Um, and Eric used it to help set this palindrome killer puzzle um, over a month ago, actually. But we haven't tried it yet, I'm afraid, even though it's been in our pile for some time. But I'm going to put that right, give it a go today. Um, now, palindrome rules mean that along the lines, they read the same forwards as backwards. So the practical effect of that is that for this line, these two cells must be the same. Um, here, for instance, we could have one, two, three, but only if we started the other end, one, two, three. Um, and killer rules apply as well, which means that, for instance, this cage must add up to the number given 35 and must use different digits, seven different digits in that case. So those are the rules of killer palindrome as well as normal Sudoku rules. Do try it on the link below the video before watching my attempt. Um, but I'm going to have a go now, so let's get cracking. Uh, so I see there are two four cages of two cells, so they must be one and three. That is the only possibility. And I see that though in both cases the one and three are on the palindromes, so the equivalent cell from the other end of the palindrome must be one or three two. Now this eight cage. Um, has to be either 125 or 134. If it was 134, it would have to look like that. Three up there, then one and four because of this one three pair. However, if it was 125, these would be a two and a five. So this could be anything two, four, or five. The same's true there. It doesn't really have any effect on the central cell of the palindrome, unfortunately. Now, what else have we got? Um, ah, no, okay. I was just thinking this and this. They're the same cell, though, both looking at. Yeah, there's these two eights in the central box. That, that seems very significant. I wonder if there's a way of ruling out. Well, one of them at least must be one seven or three five as a pair. But I can't see how. I can't see that there's any way to use these one threes that we've got to figure that one out. How about this 17 cage? Uh, it's got a three in it, so, or a one. So these two either add to 14 or 16. So. 16 would make them 7, 9, 14, though, could make them 9, 5, or 6, 8. So that's not wildly helpful either. Hmm. Two 15s down here. One of them is 9, 6, and the other is 7, 8. Ooh, we're starting to get... Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, this 13 cage... Oh no, it could be 9-4. I was hoping that that would give us a cell here that we could then be sure we had a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 quintuple, but that doesn't necessarily work as this could be a 4. How about over here? No, it's far from working. These are much smaller numbers now. Ooh, how do we progress? Okay, up in the first box we have cells adding to 60, including two others. Now, that means that these two others have to add to 15 between them because any nine cell box has to add to 45. That's the sum of one to nine. And if we add 35 and 25, we get 60. The difference is 15. That must be made up in these two cells. They must either be six in one and nine in the other, 
or eight in one and seven in the other. Now they're on the palindromes too. Look at that. Okay, that's nice. So now that has to be mirrored here. Now we do have a five cell quintuple, exactly what I was looking for, but that now proves that this cell is not one of five, six, seven, or eight, or nine, although it is the same as that, it must be a four, and we have a number placed. So now we can make that a nine, four, 13 cage. We can get rid of nines from those cells. I wasn't expecting it to fall apart at this point, and it doesn't look like it's going to, but at least we've got something done. Now, one of these two is a five now, isn't it? Because none of these can be a five. Okay, that's nice, um, because that means there's a five in the 17 gauge. That means it must be three, five, nine. So, in f oops. Sorry, I hit the wrong button there. There we go. So this is a five. This is a nine. So nines are not in that cell, which means sixes are not in that cell. Why does it mean that? Because one of these 15 cages is six and nine. So if there can't be a nine here, there can't be a six over this side. Now, no, we don't have anything like the same relationship going on there. So it's not worth looking for. Stop it, Mark. All oh, right, that's put in a three here, has it? How did I put that in? Oh yes, from the 17 cage, right. So that gives us a three here. That puts a one here now. Ooh, can we resolve this one? No, not necessarily. Okay, this cage of eight now can't have a three in it. So it's either one seven or two six. Now, where else can we find something good going? Okay, this can't be a nine anymore. Ah, oh, yes, and remember, these two have to add to 15. So now neither of them can be a nine. Neither of them can be a six either. They must be seven in one and eight in the other. So the ends of their palindromes are seven or eight. Now that's beautiful because this seven or eight is looking into this box, which can no longer be seven, eight, because then that wouldn't have a possible candidate left. So this is six, nine. And we can take out six and nine as possibilities. This is a seven, eight cage. We don't know which way round, but we have got a pair in column eight. Oh, I like this. This is clever. Um, so, 7, 8 on the end of the line. 7 or 8. Let's be clear. Ooh, if it was 7, that would really impact this box, wouldn't it? Um, the other thing I'm thinking is they have to be different, 7 and 8. And they're both looking at this cell. So that cell couldn't be 7 or 8. But... Having said that, I've shot my bow. Oh, look, this five. Sorry, that's been available for some time. Gives us a five up there. I haven't narrowed down these two, four, five possibilities at all. It's quite surprising in the context now. Okay, we've got... Can we do anything more? I've assumed box one was only useful for exactly this seven, eight. Oh, no, now we know it's seven and eight in box one. Now surely nine has to be in the 25 cage. No, seven and eight are now in the 25 cage, aren't they? That's 15. So there's another 10. It could be nine and one or six and four. But it can't have a five in it because that would need a second five. So we can at least place the five in row two it must be there. Okay, that's nice. That comes off the end of that palindrome now, which is either two something two or four something four. Um, now, so this is either seven, eight, six, four or seven, eight, nine, one. So five, two and three have to be in the 35 cage. Three can't be there. And those threes are looking at there. So three must be in one of those cells. 
And then three must be over here somewhere. In fact, what is this nine cage? No, I don't know. It, it's obviously not four, five. But it could actually still be quite a lot of other things. Or could it? No, let's have a look at this column again. Five, nine, four, seven, eight, six all used up. So the others are one, two, or three. This one isn't a three because those threes are pointing at it, if you like. Um, one, two, or three. So that goes with six, seven, or eight. Is that a clash with this? No, not really. Oh, I just feel like I'm missing something. Okay, this three is looking at those three cells. Ah, so that puts a three in one of these two in box nine. That's looking straight at this cell, so that can't be three anymore. Brilliant, and that's on the palindrome. So we can finish that bit. Now, this, for some reason, I'm not allowing it to be one, four, three. That might be for a mistaken reason. I think it's, I, I don't know why I ruled that out earlier. I think it could be. I'm putting that back in just in case for now. But it's either one, two, five, or four, three. So this can't be a one, obviously, now. And I don't believe it can be a two, because this can't be a five, because that would put a five here, which would ruin either the palindrome or the column. Now, so we've got a lot of ones. Ah, one there and one there is ruling out all of those cells in box five. That one's ruling out those. So we know one is in this box, this cage. So that is a one seven cage. Now this one is either two, six or five, three now. Ah, and seven that's definitely in that cage is looking at this cell. So that's an eight. I and that means this is a seven to make up the 15 between those two. So we can put seven there. That fixes the eight, seven cage down here. Eight is now in one of those two cells, but I don't know which. One, oh, one could have been there, couldn't it? Ah, oh, frustrating, right, one, seven, so this column, 53178, this cell must be 2 or 6, because it's got 4 and 9 right next to it. Um. <clears throat> oh, how about this 13? This could either be 4 there, 9 there, or a 6, 7 pair. Now that means on the palindrome, this is nine, seven, or six, where well, we can see which one from that cage. Brilliant. So that's a seven. That's a seven. We get a six there. That makes this, or disambiguates the one, seven order. One there, one there, we can put in one here. Four, two, five to fill in there. Now what's that gonna do for this 15? It can't be two and four, that would need a nine. So the five is in one of those two cells. So this isn't a five. And actually it's not a four either, so it's a two. So that has now become four and five to go with a six. That resolves this cell, two. We've got a whole box done, eight there. Now two there means this is not two and six. So that's three and five. That makes this a four. Um, 47135. This is now 8 because 9 and 6 are in its column. Oh, we're left with an annoying offset 9 6 pair there. How's that? No, neither of those have been resolved. Right, what else have we got now? Things are really moving on. This can't be 2 anymore. So it's either 1 or 3 to go with 6 or 8 there to make up the 9. Um, this isn't one anymore. So one of these two is a one. Um, one of these two is a one. That was deducible from those not being a one as well. 
Still don't know whether this is 2, 5 or 4, 3. Um, what did I say? Oh, 8 is in one of those two. That's not all that helpful at the moment. Now 9 is in one of those. That's not very good. Ah, 8 is definitely in one of those because of that 8. And 5 above. Very close now. Okay, seven can't be in these cells anymore. So it's definitely in one of those. Seven, eight. We're still none the wiser about whether this contains one, nine, which would require a one there, or six, four, which would require a six there. Whichever one it was, that would sort out whether this was 6, 3 or 8, 1. Oh, I just feel nearly onto something there. Ah, oh, look, 7. There we go. 7 is ruled out of those cells. 7 is ruled out of those cells because there can't be a 2 in the 9 cage. It's not there. So we can actually fill in 7 there. That gives us a 7 here. And now there's nowhere for a 6 in this cage. So we can put in the 1. Um, this is now 8 and 9 to make up the numbers. I don't actually know which order. That surprised me. 2 and 4 on the outside of that row. That's giving us a 2-4 pair in column 1. So I can put 9 in this cell. Another 2-4 pair in row 6. Um, this is 6 or 8. Two, four, one, three, five, seven, nine. This is six or eight. The nine must be here. Oh yes, look, that nine is looking straight at that cell. That's one one simpler way to know that. Two and seven, no. Three, nine, one, four, seven. Oh, two and five to go in those two cells. Uh, six and four down here. Seven, nine, six, eight, four, one. Oh, look, two to complete this because we've got a three, five pair in the column. But I don't know where nine goes there. Now, seven there, seven there. Ah, oh, it's got to be here. There's four sevens looking into this box. Now, that gives us five, eight, nine, two, four, seven. So that's six or three. Hmm. Ah, look, 517942. Yes, we said that whichever of one there or six there we had would sort out this cage, and it does. Three, six. Brilliant. So we can do the whole of column eight now. Three, two, one. Lovely. One, three, five, six, seven, eight must be there to finish the row. Nine must be there because this means it can't be anywhere else in column nine. 2, 4 pair at the top, that's sorted out the 5, 2, 8, it sorts out the 6, 8, we've got a 3 here, 1, 4, 5 to go in these cells. Oh, still this palindrome to finally resolve. Hmm. The middle cell of a, an odd length palindrome is never all that helpful. It doesn't match up with anything necessarily, so I'm not too bothered about that one. Um, two and two. Now, two can't be there because of the, that pair of twos, but it could be there or there, I think. Nearly there now. One of these is a nine, and the other is a three or a five. That one's not a three, obviously. Whew. A little bit of resistance at the end. Nice puzzle, this. Now, let's see if we can crack open the finish. So, five, eight, five, two, four, eight, nine, seven. That's not a one. That's not a six. So, one or three there. Oh, and this cage is 11. Ah, oh, I've just been constantly ignoring that. No doubt that's what you've been shouting this time. 7, 4 it can't be. 6, 5 it can't be. 8, 3 it could be. And 9, 2 it could be. 
Now what does that give us along here? Nothing. Seven. Now the other eight or nine in this column I don't know, seven, five, three, one, eight, nine. This is two, four, or six. Oh, well, maybe that didn't instantly help. I can't see that it did. There's still multiple possibilities for each of one, two, three, four, five across there. Six, four, or nine here. Ah, oh, I just can't. Maybe we need to work on what if they are the same thing here. So if that was four, say, in both cells, then the four at the top would have to be here. Don't see why not. Where would two be able to go then? Oh, that does get interesting. Yes, then suddenly 2 would have to be both here and here. So they can't be both 4. See, if they were both 4, that would push 2 in box 8 to here and 2 in box... What's that? 4. Sorry, 2 in box 7 to there, 2 in box 4 to there. So they must both be 2. How intriguing. Lovely finish, that. 4 there, 4 there. Um, that too should sort out this whole row, I would have thought. Oh, I've lost track of my cursor. That's a one, four there. Yes, look at that. Just disambiguating everything beautifully here. Um, that's a three. That's eight. Four or six there. Don't know yet. Doesn't matter. That's now a six. That sorts out the four, six pair. That's why it didn't matter. We get back to them making that a four now. Nine there, five there. Uh, nine and eight resolved. Oh, that two and four are resolved over here. And just the first three cells do. Three, two, six. What a clever puzzle. That really works neatly. Um, I hope you enjoyed having a go at that one. Um, certainly check out the Discord server, catch up with Eric and his tool. Um, that is powerful if it's setting puzzles that clever somehow. Now, good stuff there. And uh, as I say, check out the Discord server, have a look at our Patreon site, loads going on still. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.